A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeBellis. If you've been joining us here at SBN for a while, and I'm not talking out of school, we see presentations all the time that appear to be either down to earth or out of this world. And the thing that always cracks us up, naming conventions. Now, before you say a word, we know there aren't naming conventions for ideas seeking your investment. We also aren't judging any crowdfunding campaign by its name any more than we judge a book by its cover. Often enough, the ones with the loftiest ideas have the most unusual names. But look at it this way. Their names caught our attention, hence our reviews. And the names are seeking their place in the entrepreneur's lexicon on the way to becoming household names, often reaching the tipping point for investors just through repetition. You have to admit, it would have been a blast from a marketer's viewpoint to be a fly on the wall at product meetings where the product names were decided for the Swiffer, Doritos, and its product line Mirror Tostitos, and for the inimitable spun sugar confection Skittles, to name a few. So today, we are exploring the projects and products in a show we've themed The Name Game. I believe you'll want to invest your next half hour with us. Yes, we know you came for the shopping and we're going to get right into it after a quick word from our sponsors. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. There's no doubt COVID-19 has changed the world. Guidelines for reopening and operating businesses may include temperature scans for employees and customers. Protect your business and your investors with the Privatel non-contact temperature scanner. The device pairs industrial performance with a sleek appearance to help provide a safer environment for your employees, guests, and customers. Wouldn't you want this type of protection for your company? Safe, speedy, simple, and accurate to within half a degree. The Privatel non-contact temperature scanner from Privatel Solutions Incorporated Call today or buy online. Operators are standing by. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. My name is Brian DiNovellis and I'm your host. Our first crowdfunding project out of the gate today has dual instant appeal. A clever name paired with a wish I'd thought of that premise. The founders at Streamlytics have made it their mission to corner the market on the future of data. Put it another way, the amount of your data that's out there on the web being monetized every time you perform any function and through all your exchanges on social media is simply staggering. Streamlytics has built proprietary channels for B2C and B2B that allow consumers to reclaim the ability to monetize their own data. I emphasize this aspect because depending on demographics panned out through Streamlytics algorithm, you could be sitting on a mountain of gold and not know it. Streamlytics truly believes the one profiting from your data should be you. I truly believe you should hear more of the reasons to consider investing in Streamlytics by watching this filmed crowdfunding presentation. Hi, I'm Angela Benton. I'm the founder and CEO of Streamlytics. I started Streamlytics because I noticed just how much money is being made off of data from everyday people like you and me. Every day we're creating billions of data streams from our personal devices like our cell phones, watches, and more. But in most cases, we don't even have access to this data ourselves. I believe this is not human right. And I also believe your data is valuable. In fact, I know your data is valuable since billions of dollars are being made off of it by big tech and unethical data brokerages. At Streamlytics, we're helping everyday people and companies ethically access individual data streams. 
How Streamlytics works is we have consumer-facing applications like GetMyData.io, which helps consumers get access to their data, and Culture.io, which helps consumers monetize their data. When you upload or connect your data to one of our platforms, we issue you a data license that says you own your data, not us, and we're happy to partner with you and compensate you for it. Our technology values, standardizes, and enhances your data streams with the goal of making them more valuable and useful to companies who want to buy access to them. This new data set is plugged into our B2B intelligence dashboards. Companies and organizations who want access to richer, ethically sourced data to drive important business decisions choose to license our B2B intelligence dashboards because we are able to provide, at an aggregate level, more insightful data while protecting the consumer's privacy. Streamlytics is not a marketplace, but we are creating a market for data transactions. Our intellectual property includes a data standard that we created called the Universal Data Interchange Format, UDIF for short, that creates one file from all of the data files that you produce, making it easy to transfer data between our system and others. We also have a proprietary algorithm that values your data. It looks at stuff like public company stock performance, market capitalization to come up with a data point valuation to value your data at the data point level. We're laser focused on growing markets and changing landscapes. While we think our technology can apply to all data sets, we're focusing on the streaming media landscape first. It's one of the fastest growing markets and has grown over 450% over the last decade alone. Our goal is to gain market adoption through our data monetization applications. First, Culture focuses on the Black community. Aside from this group over-indexing in media consumption for the past decade plus and having one of the richest data sets around, the World Bank released a study saying 50% of global population growth between now and 2050 will come from the Black diaspora. This community of people are also market leaders and culture creators with much of pop culture successes being driven by them. It's only right we start here and expand from there. The future is bright for Streamlytics and the team and I are excited, especially with growing adjacent markets like artificial intelligence, which by 2030, 70% of companies would have adopted its use. Many people don't realize that AI can actually work and function without data. We believe we have a rare opportunity to transfer some of the wealth that's being created from big tech companies directly back into the community. We hope you'll join us on the future of data. Minimum investment in Streamlytics is $225. If you're watching along online at connectsbn.com, scroll down for direct links to offers from Streamlytics and so many more. There's much more to learn about investing in Streamlytics and the small business network can help. Just let us know by dropping us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives, including our crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick, and also SBN's tax impact expert, Richard L. Lipton of Lipton CPA and Associates. If you have any questions for our experts, you can send them to us here. Info at connectsbn.com. We're happy to offer you an option like this and you can send them as voice memos or as regular emails. The chances are good. You'll be able to hear them, your questions, our answers, right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. But first, a word from our sponsors. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. There's no doubt COVID-19 has changed the world. Guidelines for reopening and operating businesses may include temperature scans for employees and customers. Protect your business and your investors with the Privatel non-contact temperature scanner. The device pairs industrial performance with a sleek appearance to help provide a safer environment for your employees, guests, and customers. Wouldn't you want this type of protection for your company? 
safe, speedy, simple, and accurate to within half a degree. The Privatel Non-Contact Temperature Scanner from Privatel Solutions Incorporated. Call today or buy online. Operators are standing by. Hello and welcome back to SBM, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Remember how at the offset I mentioned loftiest ideas that had most unusual names? This next campaign has an extremely lofty idea and a name that means nothing remarkable. And we've read all the materials. Really though, it has about a half dozen names it could be called, so we will winnow it down to XTI Aircraft. If you wondered who would come along to solve the need for hybrid tri-fan personal aircraft with the ability to take off and land vertically, look no further. The key phrase that pays here is personal aircraft. In addition to the vertical launch and land capabilities, the hybrid electric aircraft is easy on the environment, even offering greater distance flights as you zoom from point A to point B. The initial market for these flying machines are executives who up till now have required additional travel time to and from airports along with ground crews and perhaps flight crews. You certainly won't need crews on standby, not when you've got the throttle on cruise control, nor when you're parking your aircraft anywhere you can vertically land and launch. So to think, once this crowdfunding effort takes off, it won't be long from modeling to mass production. For the next two minutes, watch the film presentation. Consider your level of investment while you imagine flying your own TriFan 600 from XTI aircraft. When we first look to the skies, we saw another world. A world that stood above us. We couldn't touch it. It was beyond our reach. But there's a funny thing about curiosity. The vehicle that drives our very existence. It does not stop craving what it does not understand. It delves headfirst into the unknown, stumbling, searching. Our greatest strength is that we do not fear the unknown. We yearn to become one with it. Our wings aided us in the basic human instinct to unite. We persisted to perfect our voyaging and we worked tirelessly at perfecting it because we knew that it would help our fellow wanderers And like the curiosity of those before us, we will continue to find a better way, a better way to thrive, to see, and most importantly, to reach. Minimum investment in XTI aircraft is $450. If you're watching along online at connectsbn.com, scroll down for direct links to offers from XTI aircraft and so many more. If you'd like to know more about investing in XTI aircraft, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal representatives and business advisors to discuss and assist in your investment interest. Please let us show you how. You're watching TV news for today's entrepreneurs, SBN, the Small Business Network. Back in a moment with much more. Please stay tuned. There's no doubt COVID-19 has changed the world. Guidelines for reopening and operating businesses may include temperature scans for employees and customers. Protect your business and your investors with the Privatel Non-Contact Temperature Scanner. 
The device pairs industrial performance with a sleek appearance to help provide a safer environment for your employees, guests, and customers. Wouldn't you want this type of protection for your company? Safe, speedy, simple, and accurate to within half a degree. The Privatel Non-Contact Temperature Scanner from Privatel Solutions Incorporated. Call today or buy online. Operators are standing by. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis. Now here's the kind of story I just love to tell from a small business perspective of an entrepreneur named Tom DeVesto. What? You don't know this marketing legend and innovative giant? There was a time, let's say late 60s, early 70s, you couldn't escape his products and you surely couldn't avoid his marketing mastery. I'll come back to the story in a minute. I just wanted to say Thomas DeVesto is back, commanding as ever. And if there's one thing I know about Tom, it's that he believes every home and business deserves an American-made sound system, preferably one that delivers maximum sound from the smallest space at the most affordable price. And this time around, it's with his Como Audio brand. Back to the story. I left off at Marketing Mastery. If you had access to any periodicals of the day, Rolling Stone, Time, Newsweek, Omni, you might see a full page ad for Advent Speakers, Cambridge Soundwork Systems, Advent Systems, you name it, he probably had a hand in it. He was doing so well with it, then as the story has it, his efforts were struck a cruel blow. Costs rose on American-made innovations like his. Then with imports, he found he had no choice but to cede control of his supply chain, sending his designs to China where the results were withering. But he regrouped, retooled, and regenerated the spirit of his previous mission, which he now states as hell-bent on building quality sound systems on Main Street USA. If you never met him before, I hope you'll never forget him from this moment on. For your investment consideration, here's the brains and brawn behind Como Audio, Thomas DeVesto. Hello, I'm Tom DeVesto. I've designed, built, and sold over a million highly acclaimed, high-quality music systems over the past 40 years, and in the process, created a ton of jobs. I found and led multiple companies, selling some, bringing others public on the NASDAQ. In 2016, I founded Como Audio to help bring music lovers easy to listen to music at the push of a button. I was named CES Innovator of the Year in 2017. COVID-19 has forced millions of people out of work. Broken supply chains have led me to the realization that the United States is far too dependent on foreign manufacturing. With people spending more time at home, they are looking to improve their quality of life. It's important to recognize the role that music plays in healing the human spirit. I've built thousands of music systems in the United States, and I'm dedicating the resources of Como Audio to make this happen again. The original reason the United States moved manufacturing to China was that they were very good partners and extremely affordable. That is less and less the case today. Now, with issues around tariffs and human rights, China is losing much of its competitive advantage. With growing consumer demand for American-made products, it's time to start creating in the United States. We're going to upskill American workers to build high-end audio equipment. One of the biggest challenges in changing the direction of the company is finding visionary investors who share our passion. The opportunity is now. The bigger companies won't easily pivot production from overseas to the United States. I've been building music systems since the 1970s. Over the last few years, products that I've designed and manufactured under the brands Como Audio and Tivoli Audio have been featured on Ellen, Rolling Stone, Forbes, and many more. Even the Queen of England has one of my music systems at the palace. While other companies have struggled during COVID-19, Como Audio's direct-to-consumer sales have soared. We've built worldwide distribution, a great product reputation, and we believe we are well-positioned to thrive in the new normal. I know how to manufacture products and grow companies in the United States. I've done it before, employed hundreds of people in Massachusetts, and I have a very strong desire to do it again. I'd like to invite you to join us in trying to rebuild American manufacturing and restore our dominance in the consumer electronics arena. 
Our goal is to bring back high paying jobs and to produce world class audio equipment. Please join us in building a new breed of American company. Minimum investment in Como Audio Systems is $250. If you're watching along online at connectsbn.com, scroll down for direct links to offers from Como Audio and so many more. If you'd like to know more about investing in Como Audio, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal representatives and business advisors to discuss and assist in your investment interest. Please let us show you how. We're back in a moment with much more. You're watching TV news for today's entrepreneurs. SBN, the small business network. Please stay tuned. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. You're back with us here on SBN, the Small Business Network. Glad to have you. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Welcome back to The Name Game. All kidding aside, we've been showing you how naming plays a role in crowdfunding. But did you know how it matters too in franchising? Of course. There's only going to be so many Mickey's Burgers and Flapjack McGee's to invest in. You may want something truly unique or that you hope has an edge in the marketplace. So play along for a second. I'll give you five names. You guess which ones are names of real franchises. Challenge Island, Parisi Speed School, Kinder Dance International, Windows Gang, Jazzercise. Okay, which one's real? They're all real. Did you know any of them? Are any around you? Would you be surprised to learn all five are in the 2020 entrepreneur.com top 100 franchises under 50 K. Now quick name any one of the five franchises I mentioned. I think Jazzercise is the winningest among the guesses here, but that's because it was founded in 1969 and has been actively franchising since 82 with its original founder still active as the CEO. While Jazzercise sort of proves the value of picking a franchise with a memorable name, we're done with all the fun and games, but we're still thinking about franchises, especially one with a clever name and a business that offers unique service and guaranteed results. I doubt you heard it here first, but that's even better. You break, I fix. Nope, not an eye test, not even a triple word score in Scrabble. You break, I fix. 10 letters tell you everything you need to know about the business. But what it doesn't mention is since it began franchising in 2013, you break I fix has been perched in the top 30 of the annual entrepreneur.com top 500 franchises. Quite an accomplishment. I'd say let's hear more about the business they're in and ways they make it memorable. I mean, from the beginning, like, you know, we always want to do right by our customers, whether we were fixing their phones that they mailed in or going to Panera or, or eventually coming to our stores. And, you know, we would buy like, you know, 10 screens at a time and phones would come in and we'd fix the phones and mail them out. So I sat with him and I said, why don't we open a store that fixes these so that people aren't just mailing them away? You know, he thought retail was the future. This was like 2009 and it was, you know, obviously Amazon everything and we were like, you're crazy and, you know, he was willing to put his money where his mouth is and here we are. I honestly didn't think that it could be anything like what it is today. I thought it was interesting, I thought there's potentially a need there, but I thought it was kind of crazy, honestly, to, to think that we could repair these, these complex devices um, and, and provide a, a service that made sense for customers. We went to you know, our friends and family and said, hey, you know, these are the key markets in the U.S. where we think we'll have the most success, you know, are you interested in moving there in some cases? And in other cases, people are just like, you know, I want to move here. Okay, great. We're sure stores are going to do good anywhere. So, you know, go ahead. So that was the, the real turning point for me that was like, wow, this, this could be something special. But that happened, I think, much later for me than it happened for, for Justin and Eddie. They were, they were bullish on this idea right from the beginning. You know, accidentally we created a really cool culture that people want to be a part of and a big part of that was like working with people you wanted to be around, not just coming in and 
dealing with people all day and then going home. Like we, we hired all of the friends that we had to get this thing off the ground and a lot of those, those early friends you know, took big risks to, to move and to start stores and to really help us grow this brand. What motivates us kind of in the moment has changed probably every year for the last 10 years, I, I think, but the, the foundation of it hasn't, which is, you know, to create an outstanding experience for people with broken electronics. There is a bit of a race to scale and a race to be the household name uh, in the repair space, but I think somebody, and I'm hoping will be that somebody, can really legitimize device repair once and for all. I mean, when you ask people, um, what would they do if they break their phone? The vast majority today are still saying replace it. So, um, you know, we have an opportunity to, I think, become a household name for broken things, and we've just started that journey. Now, here are some of the typical expenses of opening your very own You Break iFix franchise. The initial investment ranges from $55,400 to $236,250. Your net worth requirement is $200,000. Your liquid cash requirement is $130,000. The initial franchise fee is $40,000 with an ongoing royalty fee of 7%. If becoming a You Break iFix franchisee has captured your interest, the Small Business Network can help. We can introduce you to franchisers, legal reps, and business advisors who can help you learn more before you take your next steps to becoming a You Break I Fix franchisee. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Now, please keep it tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. There's no doubt COVID-19 has changed the world. Guidelines for reopening and operating businesses may include temperature scans for employees and customers. Protect your business and your investors with the Privatel non-contact temperature scanner. The device pairs industrial performance with a sleek appearance to help provide a safer environment for your employees, guests, and customers. Wouldn't you want this type of protection for your company, safe, speedy, simple, and accurate to within half a degree. The Privatel non-contact temperature scanner from Privatel Solutions Incorporated. Call today or buy online. Operators are standing by. What if someone burst into the room, not shouting, but not exactly inside voice, if you know what I mean, and said Ghost Flower is trying to take a niche product and turn it into a disruption for a $398 billion activewear market at 100 bucks a pop? If you were the boss, you might say, what's a Ghost Flower? I'd explain that Ghost Flower is the kicker on today's show, a show we subtitled The Name Game. The premise has the right idea. Ghost Flower caught our attention on review, and then we watched the crowdfunding film presentation, got wowed, and couldn't wait to learn more. So, for your investment consideration, here's what Ghost Flower has in mind. Welcome to Ghost Flower, luxurious activewear that takes you to the next level of self care. We've rolled out a niche product within a growing $398 billion activewear market. We already have 1,200 customers, and our year-over-year -year growth has been 170%. 2020 is the year we will broaden our reach through digital marketing. Here's what makes us different. We're the only activewear with the body's energy network and acupressure points woven into the designs. Essentially, Ghost Flower is self-healing woven in. Customers love that they now have a wearable map of key acupressure points. We want to empower people to use the full extent of their innate self-healing system. We all have access to our body's natural healing forces. It's electric and it flows along our fashion. And when it's functioning well, our body is literally an electrical powerhouse. Feel charged up, energized, and pain-free. Your immune system is strong, you feel less stress, and you sleep better. 
I know this is true as I tapped into this force to heal my own back pain. By using stretch and yoga, I was able to heal my back and completely avoid surgery. After that, I began to research how energy flows within the body and how it heals. Bonnie taught me by combining ancient Eastern medicine with modern stretching, I could accelerate my healing and re-energize my whole body. I began drawing the energy channels on my leggings so that I could see which ones to stretch to unblock the stagnant energy that was causing my pain. This simple idea served as the inspiration to create Ghost Flower. Ghost Flower didn't emerge from the fashion world. Our original core team consisted of Eastern medicine and acupressure experts, as well as dance, stretch, yoga, Pilates, and movement specialists. Together, we ensured that the designs were technically accurate and driven by function, not fashion alone. We use fabric that is sweat wicking, breathable, and stays in place with no waistline rollover. It's the perfect amount of compression to be smoothing, yet so comfortable that our customers feel like they're wearing nothing. Customers love that they now have a wearable map of key acupressure points that they can follow as a guide. We hope you'll consider joining the Ghost Flower team and help us empower women to take charge of their own health. We would love to have you as a customer, a shareholder, and a member of our Ghost Flower community. Minimum investment in Ghost Flower is $100. If you're watching along online at connectsbn.com, scroll down for direct links to offers from Ghost Flower and so many more. If you'd like to know more about investing in Ghost Flower, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal representatives and business advisors to discuss and assist in your investment interest. Please let us show you how. We're back in a moment with one more bit of positive inspiration. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Please stay tuned. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. That's going to wrap things up today. We hope you saw something that played to your interest for small business investment or at least something presented that brought a laugh or a smile. We invite you to come back and watch again next time. And we thank you for making us part of your regular viewing habits. Until next time, good health, good heart, and good investments. Thank you from all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.